What's an addiction that no one takes seriously enough? Scrolling. Phone addiction. Attention and it can manifest in so many ways social media, causing issues in school, causing chaos, etc. Solitude is dangerous. It's very addictive. It becomes a habit after you realize how peaceful and calm it is. It's like you don't want to deal with people anymore because they drain your energy. Jim Carrey Self-deprecation It starts as just jokes to break the ice in social situations. Then it becomes a form of sarcasm ingrained into your everyday speech. Then it becomes a true depiction of how you see yourself and it spirals into depression. Sugar Energy drinks Man I don't know why I'm so low on energy today. I think I need another Red Bull. No you need fucking water. Validation Food Also the hardest to break as you can't go cold turkey or abstain. Social media addiction I think eventually we will find out that social media contributes to mental illness someday. Nasal spray Chapstick. There's 994 comments so not sure if has been said. But my lips will never let me give up chapstick until I die. Skin picking. My index, thumb and middle fingers are permanently destroyed and all my parent says is you've got to stop yeah no I can't. Alcohol dependency people only think being a full-blown alcoholic is an issue. The millions who can't go a day without booze, yet are functional and whose lives would be 10x better without it are the real issue. Work. So many of my friends in their late 20s work themselves to exhaustion, go out for drinks and talk about work for three hours, get called in early to work the next day, and kiss the bosses ass on their days off. I've beaten booze, meth, crack and cigarettes. I now need treatment for sugar. Vaping. I quit, day two foot. Recently? Alcohol. You can be slamming back a six-pack every day after work, wine mom drinking out of a flask at soccer games and baby showers, 10 a.m. Sunday mimosas, and no one bats an eye as long as you're functioning and you turn it into a joke. Unless you're pissing yourself drooling in a corner at 8 a.m. every morning, no one even thinks alcoholism. Drama. Winning arguments. Or at least the other person giving up. I know a guy that will argue with anyone over anything, with the sole intention of making them give up in disgust. Cell phones. Binge eating. I saw nobody say this so I am gonna say it, sadness. Might seem like a weird thing but a lot of people are addicted to making themselves sad or make themselves feel pain. Impulsive shoplifting. Self-harm. Porn. In someone with ADHD, dopamine. It's easy to become addicted to social media, gaming, gambling, sex, attention, drugs, alcohol and all of the other addictions. Because the real problem is you're just trying to get access to a normal amount of dopamine. Masturbation. Been late to several important things because of it. Shopping. People think I just like nice shit but they don't realize I literally can't stop and it's ruined relationships but I don't know how to quit. The dopamine is real. Marijuana. I know it's not as bad as other drugs, but if you're seriously going to look me in the eye and say it's not addictive when you wake and bake 24-7. Video games. Caffeine. Mainly in the form of coffee, if it's energy drinks, it's suddenly much more of an issue, but people take pride in not functioning without their morning coffee. The amount of shirts, cups and home decors saying stuff like don't talk to me before my coffee or but first. Coffee baffles me. If you can't function without it, you're addicted, Helen. Small cat addiction. There's a lot that aren't taken seriously, or are looked down upon because of the stigma around it. Food. Gambling. Sex. Even legal narcotics are looked down upon. 
but illegal narcotics aren't seen as what they often are, which is a way to avoid dealing with something in one's past. Much the same can be said about alcoholism. IDK man I've seen nobody mention cocaine and I've been watching that harm a few lives lately. Socially acceptable amongst the moderately wealthy, but usually an all or nothing kind of drug that people absolutely will gargle trouser meat for. Work. I show up early every day at least an hour, stay late if possible and try to work weekends extra pay. Not trying to kiss us or look good to the boss man, I just genuinely like working. Or rather need to work. Nicotine can't go one day without it and if I don't have it I drink and eat food excessively just to fight the cravings. Gambling Oxygen addiction I've been trying to cut down but the craving is just overwhelming. This will sound weird but winning. People nowadays need to feel like they are the victors of everything. If someone has an opinion that differs from yours that is not okay. You need to convince them they are wrong and you're right. Person addiction. Emotional dependency on an individual. Has ruined my life. Dopamine. Anger. It releases serotonin. It's cathartic. Easy to become a dominant response in many social situations. Online gaming. It's actually killed people. Internet addiction. Screen time and all of that. Abusive relations. Reddit. Sugar. Instant gratification. It paralyzes the brain, and you will never be able to work on something that's hard and take longer to see any progress. Weed. People worship it and make it their personality and refuse to believe it's an addiction. Food addiction. Being too healthy. Being too healthy is actually unhealthy. There are people that are so used to getting their 10,000 steps a day that they will disregard the rest that their body needs just to reach that daily milestone. Alcoholism. It's the only disease you get yelled at for having. I saw a hot take from an ex-social media engineer who said that people might look back on today the same way we look back on the opium wars in China. I think about that a lot. Self-harm. Just stop. Face with rolling eyes. Cannabis. Doesn't actually give you full sleep, doesn't actually cure anxiety, shrinks your brain, but tell me how you can stop whenever you want. It's fine in moderation like everything but man when you need it every day just to get by, I call bullshit. Porn. Not knocking it, but for some folks it can become quite problematic. And so much shame for those needing help but too embarrassed to seek it. Makes me sad. I was recently dealing with a soap addiction. I'm clean now. Food. There were barely ANY support groups or rehabilitation services when my friend needed them. Crocodile. Vaping, third day without nicotine. The quest by wealthy people to increase their wealth without limit, using every dirty trick in the book. It's more than an addiction, it's a serious mental illness. Unfortunately, those who have it own and control the world. Sugar and caffeine. Porn. Caffeine. It fuels our economy to counteract the addition from alcohol. Sugar definitely. Eating disorders. Thinking. Salt. Brazilian fart porn. Gambling. 24-hour allergy pills, I didn't know they were addictive, and now if I don't take them I itch to an unbearable degree. Nose picking. 